everyone. I'm Ivy. I'm Husna. I'm Anis. I'm Emmet. So we glad to share with you our research about Umbrella and its benefits that lead to the production of our product. Ambarela, which is known as Kedondong in Malaysia, is one of the local fruits that we can easily acquire as it grows all year round. This rapid growing tree, which can grow up to a maximum height of 18 meters, is one of the citizens' favorite fruit. Many researchers have found out that Kedondong has many benefits in its bark, seeds, and fruit. Hence, after going through many research, we found out that its skin also provides benefits as it contains chemical that can replace harmful synthetic insect repellent. In our daily life, have you ever thought that all the leftovers from Kudondong can be used to bring us benefits? Through our research, we found out that we can produce new friendly repellent from Kedondong skin. How? In today's industry, phenol is produced from harmful substances such as benzene and coal tar. The uses of these harmful substances lead to an unsafe environment and worse, could also affect our health. Thus, we are taking precautions to save our environment by creating a biophenolic product that is surely more eco-friendly to the earth. By commercializing this product, we could not only reduce the use of benzene, we could also reduce the use of pesticide which release chlorofluorocarbon to the air. As nowadays technology is linked to many innovations, people tend to use the solid effect known as mothball. However, today mothball that we use for the plant insect is bad for our health as it is made of naphthalene. Naphthalene in the mothball This biophenolic mothball can be made easily and can repel insects similar to other commercial repellents but in a new and friendly method. Aparela, scientifically termed as Poundia dalci, is a tropical fruit bearing tree that goes by several common names, including Kedondong, June Plum, Golden Apple, Dwarf Golden Plum, Indian Hop Plum, and Makok Fairy. This succulent summer produce confers numerous advantages for human health, such as enhancing immune system functions, preventing heart ailments like atherosclerosis, myocardial infarction or heart attack, maintaining optimal vision, and remedying gut problems. Amarela is commonly used for its fruit. The fruit can be eaten raw, while the flesh is still crunchy and a little sour. The first growing tree produces a small, conspicuous white flower in terminal panicles. Over several weeks, the fruit falls to the ground, but still green and hard. Then, it turns golden yellow as they ripen and produces a strong smell. This fruit is easy to find as it grows all year round. The important point that we would like to highlight is the total of phenylcaxis in the umbrella which is 27.08 mg of dry weight. This number leads us to the making of our product as we believe that the phenyl in umbrella can reduce the use of benzene. Moreover, phenyl quantity is high in umbrella skin. This has proven that our product is a world created innovation as it helps to save the environment improve human health and reduce stress. 
You must be wondering, how did we produce our product? So now, we will tell you the process of making our product more well. As we know, this bio moth ball is made to produce the umbrella skin solution as a solid repellent. The strong smell of dried umbrella is believed to have the ability to repel insects. Thus, we remove phenol from the umbrella by extracting the skin and we met an extract to be added into the wax. Next, we detect what type of insects that can be repelled by umbrella mothball and the last step is to test how effective it is. In detail, there are 5 methods including 2 experiments that we did to make this umbrella by a mothball. So we divided the procedures into 2 and the methodologies are From procedure 1, preparation of umbrella skin solution where we remove phenol from the umbrella skin by drying the skin and form the dried skin in powder. Then, we form it to a solution by adding some water. B. Experiment to get the best water and skin powder ratio. We made a few samples of skin solution with different ratio of water and the skin powder. This is to test what ratio is best and effective towards insects before we form it into mothballs. C. We extract the skin solution by evaporating it to release other chemical structure to get only the phenol. D. Experiment to test effectiveness of kedonong extraction toward insect. This experiment showed a good and positive result which had proven that this product works very well as a repellent. For procedure 2, kedonong skin extraction to solid insect repellent by waxing process. This waxing process consists a mix of jojoba oil, shea butter, and beeswax. In a nutshell, let me complete our research in a lemon stem. First, we did the research on umbrella. Then, we found out that umbrella contains a high amount of phenol, in which today phenol is produced from benzene, a harmful chemical that brings disadvantages to the environment. So we believe that we could make a new repellent, which is friendly to the environment, using phenol in umbrella. How we managed to produce it? We had done five methodologies, including two experiments to make this product work well. Finally, we managed to produce our product in the form of mothball using waxing process and we have proven that our repellent is comparable to commercial products.